we are going to see about underst um, when different phenological characters of, of uh, different crops um, which is very important for time for mapping crop types if you don't understand the phenological characteristics you will not able you will not be able to map different crop types we'll also see the importance of uh, using single time imagery and using multi temporal images for classification simple uh, we'll be see, we'll see that single time imagery is good for classifying uh, uh, different land cover mainly a first level of classification a broad level of classification on the other hand if we have uh, multi temporal images you can also map different crop type which is very important and we'll also see see the uh, we'll I'll show you the tool for uh, where you can have uh, you can generate your own phenology for different crops as well so just to start with uh, phenology is the study of periodic plant and animal life cycle events and how these are influenced by seasonal and intra annual variation in climate as well as the habitat factors such as elevation so, so on the on the left you can see the crop calendar for different crops that and crop calendar is a thing which gives you an idea about the sowing time the growing um, growing time and the harvest time of a particular crop and phenology is basically uh, in terms of clock uh, the phenology is basically a time series ndbi starting from sowing till harvesting which gives you an idea about its uh, phenological characteristics so you can see like uh, for this crop here we have uh, 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 like uh, in may we have sowing time then it achieves its peak season at somewhere in august or september and then uh, november this is also harvest this is harvested so if you see the crop calendar this can possibly be rice or millet because these have same kind of sowing and harvest time so this kind of thing you can actually actually see yeah then this is like uh, temporal cropping pattern and defin uh, defin defining decision rule if you know the because each crop have different phenology different sowing and harvest time if you if you can figure out what is the sowing and um, harvest time of a particular crop or what is the length of a crop you can easily define a decision rule to separate those crops which is very essential if you want to do crop type mapping so you can see that here like in mustard spring mustard the crop length is uh, shorter but in case of wheat figure b the crop length is larger so you can easily uh, i mean um, decide the threshold to separate these kind of crops now another question is why multi temporal classification is important for crop time mapping because single time image is not capable of capturing the unique response of an individual crop here what i try to say is i use single time image and i have generated the spectral response from different bands from sentinel for different crops and you can see the the, the responses are uh, quite similar for wheat mustard and vegetable um so you cannot have a sufficient separability if you use single time response on the other hand i tried time series ndvi uh, for uh, for mustard and wheat and you can see that uh, there is a difference in the phenological cycle that this kind of characteristics can be used for separating um, these kind of crops uh let us let us do some kind of hands on on um, uh, time series analysis of ndvi so this is the code link where you can also click and i'll show you how it works so basically uh, yeah um so this is um, the tool for um, it and it gives you information about two things one is the phenological characteristics and you can also develop crop calendar based on this analysis and also what is the cropping pattern for throughout the year now if we if i go to a certain location because i know the location right now these are the agriculture fields so if you click on agni of the agriculture field say this so it will give you information about the latitude and longitude of that field and it will generate the time series response for the entire year so now from here you can easily identify what is my um, cropping pattern for this year and how many crops are there in a particular year 
and what what is the peak season of the crop suppose like this crop is having somewhere sowing in april and then it attains the peak season in september and again it's harvested on the other side if we click some other crops like from some other areas like okay let me do that then i'll explain um from different crops i think it will take some time but not that much yeah so now the time series graph has been generated and here also you can find that the phenological pattern for this field is different so the cropping pattern is different this kind of information you can um, generate using this tool which will be helpful for developing crop calendars and crop calendars and to know about the phenological pattern of different crops now let us let us try an example for classifying different crops using single time imagery uh, using sentinel 2 and then we'll see uh, how to classify using multi temporal uh, multi temporal images if you want to do crop type mapping and one more thing is that uh, we'll see the difference in the accuracy um, in terms of uh, like if you use single time image and the multi temporal images so this is the code uh, and, the, and, and the link is given here so if i use single time image and if i click on one button let's see the accuracy that we'll be getting for for different crops I guess it will take some time. In the meanwhile, I can explain you the code. You can also customize it for your application according to your need. So here, merge is basically the uh, collection of merge GPS. So if you have the uh, GPS from your uh, study area you can actually upload it as a fusion table or as a assets in as a shape file in your assets and use specific uh, class unique class for each crop say one for rice two for wheat and so on and we also need a agriculture mask so that you can take from land cover and you need to define it here for so agriculture mask and then we are calling sentinel2 data here and then we applied some kind of uh, cloud masking using um, QA60 band, which comes with the Sentinel data. And then we are creating monthly composite uh, for reducing clouds. So I'm using threshold as like 20% and using median composite to get rid of clouds, to get, uh, get rid of outlier, outliers. And I'm creating it for different seasons. I mean, uh, for 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 the entire year, and then we are splitting our data sets into two parts. That is training and validation. So I'm using my 70% of the um, GPS used for training on the model, and 30% is used for validation of the model. And using random forest classifier, and I have used all the bands like B1 to B12 for classification. And this is for getting the accuracy. You can see that if we run run it, you will get only 0.47, of accuracy, which is very less in terms of crop type mapping. But on the other hand, now let's see for uh, let us see for um, in the case of multi temporal images. Mm, let me open it. Open the code for you. In this code, um, things are almost same. Uh, you have a merge collection, which is basically a merge collection of merge GPS, and the agriculture mass is required for this analysis. But now, instead of using like single time imagery, I'm using monthly compo monthly composite image from 2016 to 2017. This is from May 2016, and so again, I am calculating NDVI for that particular month. 
and similarly we have um, for like uh, may then august because in june we don't have data then october and whatever months where we have uh, data with less than 20 percent cloud coverage i have calculated ndvi and uh, base and then finally merge all the ndvi bands into single collection and then classifying the data um, using the ground control points and in this case also i'm using same 70 30 percent 70 for training and 30 for validation and here you can see the improvement in the result the, the accuracy reaches like 65 percent uh, this is because of the unique um, phenological characteristics that can be captured using time series ndvi which was not captured in the by using single time imagery so you can also try out if you have um, the, the the ground control point and the agriculture mass from your study area and let me know like what kind of results you get this is the basic principle how you do uh, you know crop type mapping uh, for any area so i think uh, this is all from my side uh, thank you very much